This video is going to show how to install a new PME, or program module, into an LME7 burner control. The program module is what dictates the parameter values, the default values. And in the, in the event that they're saved and backed up, this may have values specific to the application. If you have an LME on site that may have failed due to miswiring or negligence or any other warranty failure of any type, the parameter value stored in the PME can, can be quite valuable and prevent you from having to reprogram the new LME. So to change the PME, the first step is to remove power from the control, and then using a fingernail or a screwdriver, simply pry this up and lift it out. Set the old one aside, and when you're putting this PME in either an existing unit, or if you're taking an old PME and putting it in a new unit, when you first put it in, and power it up, that LME will recognize that it has a new PME that is not yet married to the unit. To marry them together, and to in fact download the values that are saved in this, pro in this program module into the LME for operation, it's very easy. Simply press and hold this info or enter button until the yellow light flashes. That typically takes about three seconds. Now release. You'll see the display says run for a moment. Now it will say end. I'm sorry, reset end, which means it's been successful. If you leave it here, it will stay this way indefinitely. So you hit the reset button one more time. It'll show a lock 138, which is not a lockout, but in fact just says a PME download was successfully done. Hit reset one more time. and your LME7 is ready to operate.